The Prime Minister is poised to announce a shake-up of national security agencies to bring them under a UK-style home office mega portfolio. The controversial idea hasn't yet been approved by Cabinet, but Malcolm Turnbull's already strengthening the military's role in fighting terrorism. Here's Defence reporter Andrew Green. We can guarantee first round hits. Their identities are always hidden, but during a brief prime ministerial visit, the tactical assault group was the very public face of the government's latest move on national security. And these are capabilities you have for yourself. That is a Yes, please don't have. During Sydney's Lint Cafe hostage siege, the elite soldiers of TAG Group East were on standby. The call to move in never came. Now the government wants to ensure states can deploy their lethal abilities at any time in future terrorism incidents on Australian soil. We've got to keep on improving the way we are able to respond to these threats. As well as strengthening defence call-in powers, the government's offering to provide more specialised military training and expertise for police across the country. Importantly, it acknowledges the primacy of the state and territories and the police in the domestic policing role. Labor's backing the overhaul, but questioning Malcolm Turnbull's choice of military backdrop. The Australian people can well see uh, a prop when it's presented. They can sniff it from a mile away. Senior military figures describe today's changes as a fine-tuning of informal counter-terrorism arrangements that have been in place for some time. The announcements also set up a national security focus for the government this week. Tomorrow, Cabinet's expected to discuss the long-anticipated proposal for a Home Office-style mega-department. The ABC's confirmed a long-awaited review of the intelligence community has not endorsed the idea. However, the Prime Minister's believed to favour a minimalist model combining ASIO, the AFP, immigration and border force. Ministers opposed to the move aren't hiding their feelings. Australians should feel confident that the arrangements we have in place at the moment uh, do serve us very well. We have got outstanding arrangements uh, at Australia, but we're always open to improving them. It's a captain's call, but one that would prompt a ministerial reshuffle, and with each winner, there's always a loser. Andrew Green, ABC News, Canberra.